first full week of NFL preseason action arrives this week, but we're going to go ahead and look beyond that to the regular season here because that's where the real money is made. That's where we get weird. Let's go. NFL panel, DraftKings contributor Stan Sun and RotoWire's AJ Scholes. Best bets, part one. Looking at some interesting team specific future bets here for the 2021 NFL season, guys. If you go over to the NFL section of the DK Sportsbook and click on the tab labeled Team Specials, you can find some interesting bets for every NFL team. We're going to start looking at these bets by picking from each of the Super Bowl favorites for 2021. So that means we start with the Kansas City Chiefs. If you look at their team specials here, one that stands out is Patrick Mahomes, 50-plus regular season passing touchdowns and 5,000-plus regular season passing yards. The odds on that happening are plus 750 on the DK Sportsbook. What are the chances in your eyes he can get there in a 17-game regular season AJ? Uh, I'm not worried about the yardage here. You look at last year's numbers, he averaged 316 per game. You'd have him hitting that 5,000-yard threshold in just 16 games this year. It's the touchdowns that concerns me here. Yes, he managed to hit 52 years ago. And in theory, he has an extra game. But we also have to consider the, the fact that the Chiefs could be in a position to rest him at the end if they lock up the division. Uh, there's no way they're going to play him in the final game with that extra you know, uh, wear and tear on him. So I just don't see him getting to the touchdown mark. I think the yardage he'll cover. So if you can get that as standalone, I would consider that. But uh, pairing these up together, I, I don't like 50 touchdowns for him this year. Okay, Stan, how do you feel about pairing these two together? Yeah, I'm in complete agreement with AJ. I think the yards is definitely doable. Um, but 50, man, that's that's a really tough number, even with the extra game. You know, there's only been three quarterbacks in the history of the NFL that have uh, uh, passed for at least 50. Uh, there's been three other quarterbacks that got within two, so 48, 49. You know, in order to get above 50 touchdowns, a quarterback needs to have a TD rate of over 8%. Uh, Manning was at 8.3, Brady was at 8.7, Mahomes was at 8.6 the year that he did it. Uh, Mahomes' career TD uh, passing rate is 6.8%. Um, you know, I mean, A-Rod did it twice, Dan Marino did it uh, one time in 1984. So, um, yeah, that's, I mean, that's a really tough number to get to 50. So I'm in, I'm in complete agreement with AJ here. All right, well, let's go to the defending champs here, Stan. Uh, the Bucks. one of the team specials for Tampa is Tom Brady, over 39 and a half regular season passing touchdowns, plus Mike Evans, over 1,050 and a half regular season receiving yards. The odds for that sit at plus 400. How realistic are those numbers? I think it's very realistic. I think the numbers are really, really good here. Um, you know, Brady threw for 40 touchdowns last season. Uh, the TD passing rate was 6.6%. So uh, that's higher than his career average, but it's definitely not egregious by any means. Uh, you know, let's not forget about last year's, you know, Bucks team, you know, COVID, lack of preparation. It was just a funny season. You know, it took them about 12 weeks to kind of get into the groove. Uh, once, you know, they, you know, once the offense started humming, you know, over the last eight games, including the playoffs, uh, the TD, he threw about 2.75 TDs uh, per game. So, you know, even if you go to like 2.5, you're still looking at 42 and a half TDs. So I think I think the 39.5 is definitely viable. Um, you know, there are a little bit, a few concerns. You know, his career rate is 1.9 per game. You know, if you start uh, looking at the numbers from his breakout year of 2007, you know, it's only a 2.11. So um, that's what I'm saying. I think the line is, is a pretty efficient one. It's a tough one. In terms of Evans, you know, he's gone over a thousand yards in every year of his career. Um, in terms of, you know, when Antonio Brown, like, so pre and post AB, you know, he was at 5.75 targets, 46.6 yards per game before AB arrived. After he arrived, 7.87 targets, 79.1 uh, yards per game. So, um, you know, I, I really think that this offense is going to be humming in year two. There's more continuity. And I actually think that. I think Aaron's and Brady, like, there's a chance they may try to just say F you and just try to go historic, you know, just break all sorts of type of records this year. Okay. How do we feel about this one, AJ? A little better than the first one? Uh, same concern here. It's a, it's a touchdown. So I, I agree with Stan that, you know, the yardage for Evans should be 
uh, not an issue. I, I think he'll get that easily. You know, you look at the specific uh, 1050 mark, he's only missed that twice. And as Stan said, he, he gets over 1,000. So you're talking about a, a couple extra catches here or there compared to those two seasons that he didn't get there. Um, but the 40 touchdowns, look, Tom has only hit that twice. Uh, once was last year and then obviously the 50 touchdown season. For the most part, he just hasn't been that uh, much of a, of a touchdown producer. I mean, not, not to knock his career at all. He just hasn't needed to in some of those cases as well. If you set this at 35, I would be all over it. Um, but 40 just seems like too steep of a hill to climb for me. So, again, the touchdowns has me backing away from this one. All right, next we have the Buffalo Bills and their newly extended quarterback, Josh Allen. He's making that NBA money now, looking at some uh, Allen-specific bets under the team specials on the DK Sportsbook. One that stands out is over eight and a half rushing touchdowns, plus Stephon Diggs over 105 and a half regular season receptions, which has plus 250 odds to happen. How are we feeling about this one, AJ? Well, this one I like. This one I feel good about, you know, that that – Rushing TD line on, on Allen couldn't have been set better. You know, you look at the last three seasons, eight, nine, and eight. So he's absolutely right there. Um, and I think he's fully capable of, of getting over that. But that's probably going to be your, your biggest hurdle here. Uh, Diggs, for his part, coming off a phenomenal season last year, career high, 127 receptions. He's gotten over 100 in two of the last three seasons. Now, obviously, one of those was 102. So, again, uh, the line is set perfectly, I think, at 105. It's, it's definitely going to be a stretch. But I do think this is also a tougher division than what Kansas City is going to see. And so I think the Bills potentially will have to use both of these guys all 17 weeks here. And so I love the value of plus 250. This is one I'm definitely targeting uh, to go after on the DK Sportsbook. Stan, would you target this one? Yeah, I think I'm pretty good with it. Um, you know, AJ's been talking about, you know, T- TD variants and things of that nature. So, uh, you know, as he was alluding to in the, the prior two segments, um, it is tough. But, you know, the consistency with his, you know, 8, 9, and 8 in the last three years, o- over 100 carries in each of the last two seasons. You know, inside the five-yard, uh, he has nine attempts, which was 25th in all of football, including, you know, running backs. So I think the opportunities and the consistency are there. Um, the line is... You know, obviously, it's it's a very sharp line, right? I mean, you know, what if he passes, you know, play action passes to a tight end or he trips at the one-inch line or, you know, so, like, things like that can always happen. Um, but, you know, I, I, I think it's fine in terms of digs, the targets. I mean, you know, the Bills, they were 11th in passing play percentage. You know, they throw the ball a lot. It's over 60%. He's going to get targets. He had 166 last season. So uh, he's going to get fed. So I'm actually – I feel better about the, the digs part of this prop. Uh, than the the Allen rushing TD just because you know there's always TD variants and you know li- like freaky things can happen. But um, out of all of the the lines you know that we talked about so far, uh, it's probably one of the better ones. And it, there's a reason why it's only plus two fifty. Mm. Stan, That's as it. for the drama filled Green Bay Packers, one team special focuses on Aaron Jones and Devontae Adams to combine for. Over 24 and a half regular season rushing and receiving touchdowns, that prop has odds of plus 150. So are you as confident about them reaching that threshold as the odds makers are? I'm not, actually. I don't think this is a slam dunk. Um, I think I, I, I would take the over, but I think it's very, very, very close. And I think um, it's, a, it's another sharp line here. You know, I mean, you know, if you're looking at just looking at the number from last year, right, you had you know, Adams, what, 18 touchdowns. Like, you know, Rodgers was, like, unbelievable. You know, the, the thing is, is he had a 9.1% TD passing rate. Like, that's unsustainable. You know, the, the prior two seasons, that number was at 4%. You know, so, I mean, there could be massive regression from, regression from that angle. Adams had a 77.2% catch rate. Like, he, prior to last year, he never had a number above 66%. Um, you know, with that said, I mean, he's going to get fed. He gets so many targets. Uh, he did score double-digit TDs from, you know, 2016 to 2018. He led the league with 32 red zone targets last season. Um, the opportunities are going to be there. Uh, you know, he's probably not going to replicate the 18, but I think 11 to 12, especially with that added game, uh, is definitely viable. As for Jones, you know, if you just break down the numbers over his career, he's averaged 0.68 TDs on the ground, 
So over 17 games a season, that's you know 11 to 12 through the air. He's averaged 0.11, so that gives you another two. So you're looking at 24, 25, right? So I mean, the line is like super sharp here. Um, and you know, as I alluded to in the last segment, I mean, TDs. There's so much TD variance. Like anything, like one TD to a tight end or a fullback, whatever, uh, could you know, can mess up the whole thing. But uh, I do lean to the over here, but I just don't think it's a slam dunk as what the line at 150 says and what a lot of people will probably uh, think. Okay. Uh, this is slam dunk for you, AJ. Absolutely. Lock it up, shut it down, <laughs> get that bet in there before the line moves, right? You know, and yeah, maybe uh, some, some Green Bay bias here, but look, everybody knows the storyline about how Rodgers will use any little thing to play with this chip on his shoulder. Well, I think the front office gave him everything he needs to play with the chip on his shoulder this year. The one thing I will say that, that Stan alluded to with that TD variance is you've got to factor in the Randall Cobb effect. You know, Rodgers gets his security blanket back, his, his guy back, but I don't think it'll see too much of a drop-off in, in Adam's targets. For his part, Jones, I would look 10 to 12 on the ground. I, I think it's certainly reasonable for him. Again, as Stan said, you give him, you know, one, two, three, maybe in the air. Uh, you're you're at 15 out of uh, Jones, I think, pretty easily uh, for, for my money there. And that means just 10 out of Adam. So if he approaches anything close to 18, 15, then you're there uh, slam dunk, no problem. 